Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is another short case presentation. As we see here in this X-ray of the hand, and we have X-ray of the four digit in the AB and oblique and the lateral view. Here we have typical case of interphalangeal joint dislocation. Interphalangeal joint dislocation, it is common in the proximal interphalangeal joint and, and it is due to collateral ligament injury or tear in its mid substance. It can be associated with uh, uh, a version of fracture. A classification of interphalangeal joint dislocation, we have the dorsal, and this is the most common one, and volar blade aversion, bony fragment of the middle phalanx as also common, and collateral ligament were intact. Lateral dorsal, lateral, lateral or Dorsal lateral dislocation can be described as dorsal medial or dorsal ulnar dislocation and proximal collateral ligament aversion epsilateral to deforming force and the volar and it is the rear. As we see in this patient, we have a medial ulnar dislocation, medial ulnar dislocation of this patient and the dorsal dislocation of the middle phalanx. And the blame film is the most important uh, diagnostic value for this. We should report in the in the x-ray we should report the direction of the dislocation and as it is dorsal or lateral or volar associated injury avulsion fracture and as we see here in the lateral view, we have the dorsal dislocation of the interphalangeal joint middle phalanx. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika astaghfirka wa atubu ilayk.